हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट फॉर योर अपकमिंग कैप्सिमिनाइट ड्राइव टुडे आई विल मेक यू सेटिस्फाइड बाय डिस्कसिंग अ रिसेंटली आस्क कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस बाय कैप्सिमिनाइ जस्ट आई वांट टू कन्वे एन इंपोर्टेंट इन्फो दैट इज हुएवर रिसेंटली गिव द एग्जाम ऑन 7th फरवरी दे फेस्ट गेम बेस्ड एप्टीट्यूड एंड दे आर स्टकिंग देयर एंड कुड नॉट सॉल्व प्रॉपर्ली दैट्स व्हाई बी प्रिपेयर्ड अकॉर्डिंगली इफ यू थिंक यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस मोर ऑन दोस गेम बेस्ड एप्टीट्यूड और रीसेंट कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस देन यू कैन पिंग मी एट माय इंस्टा आई विल असिस्ट यू ओके विदाउट एक्सपेंडिंग लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चंस सो द कोडिंग क्वेश्चन वाज गिवन टू इंटीजर्स ए एंड बी राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड एस व्हिच इज द सम ऑफ डिजिट्स ऑफ ऑल इंटीजर्स इन द इंटरवल ए टू बी हियर ए एंड बी आर इंक्लूसिव राइट so read the input from the stdin blah 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 and constraints are given below so input format is the input contains two integers a and b separated by a single byte space where a and b give the interval boundaries right so uh, you will be given a uh, two integer inputs right and what should be the output that is the output contains an integer a which is the sum of digits of all integers in the interval a comma b so let's focus on the uh, sample input this, this will be more clear right so 50 and 55 space separated input and 45 is the output how so let's uh, make it more clear okay so 50 to 55 what are the numbers realize that those are 50 51 52 53 54 55 as 50 and 55 are inclusive right so 50 in 50 we can add 5 0 just add all the digits inside the numbers right so 5 plus 0 5 plus 1 5 plus 2 5 plus 3 5 plus 4 5 plus 5 so all total we get 45 as uh, the the aggregation and we so we have to print the 45 as the output so this is the value of s right so let's uh, see the second sample input that is 28 and 31 so output is 28 how there is 28 and 31 okay let's uh, make it more clear here so 28 and 31 right so what's the output that is uh, what is the number uh, realized between 28 and 31 that is 28 29 30 and 31 right so what's the sum of all the digits that is 2 plus 8 plus 2 Plus nine plus three plus zero plus three plus one. Right. So what's the total? That is two plus two uh, plus eight ten plus two twelve nine twenty one plus three twenty four plus four. That is twenty eight. Right. So this should be the output. So I hope you understood what you have to do. Right. So as always, I would request you to please start solving the problem and. give the answer in the comment section in in whatever language you want right so if you are solving in python just take the input by splitting uh, spaces or you can just uh, take the input a comma b is equal to int input right hello my dear family members i am very happy to inform you that the prime materials for capgemini is ready now in which i have included all the previous technical questions from dsa networking security cloud computing pseudo code and computer fundamentals and all the coding questions along with the previous year game based aptitudes so if you want then knock me at my insta id instagram.com/techno.uf i will provide you so i will now solve the problem in java so if you want the solution in python then let me know in the comment section i will try to assist you by solving the problem in the comment section as well right okay so let's solve public class so at first we have to create a class main and inside that we have to create the main a uh, method right so public static void main and string array right so uh, now we'll take the input but what should be our approach to solve the problem so we have to reach from 28 to 31 right so we have to uh iterate through 28 29 30 31 so for that we have to run a loop that can be a while loop or that can be a for loop so whatever uh, loop you can uh, use according to your convenience right 
then we will add all the digits one by one then we can just uh, uh, store the sum of all the digits inside a new variable and just print that variable this will be okay right so uh, to add all the digits i will take a separate function here this will look more readable so uh, let's create the function as well like public static uh, and we will return integer so int and the name of the method that is let's say digit sum digit sum right and we will take a single argument to uh, so single argument which, which will be integer right okay so this is the skeleton of our today's problem okay let me remove the p from here right okay so uh, let's take the input so int a is equal to something right and b is equal to something but before that we have to create a scanner class object scanner c is equal to new scanner system dot in and import the class scanner import java dot util dot scanner okay so this will be okay as of now so take the input so sc dot next int and sorry and for the second input int b is equal to sc dot next int and will run from uh, a to b right so for int i is equal to a to b and b should be inclusive for that we have to write less than equal to b right and i plus plus okay so now what we would do we would now add all the digits starting from 28 right so for that we have to make uh, this function complete right so what we would do let's say the integer argument is 28 at first right so run a while loop to add the digits right okay so we will write while a not equal to 0 right so we have to extract all the digits inside 28 and we'll add that add those and return that number right uh, return the sum okay so what we would do we'll extract the last digit at first so how to extract the last digit so last is equal to a mod 10 so by this command i mean by this line we can extract the last digit so now what we would do would sum right sum is equal to sum plus the last digit so what's the sum at first the sum at first let's say is equal to zero right so we have now added zero plus eight right so now we have to add the two with the sum so for that uh, we have to reduce uh, the eight i mean uh, remove the eight from 28 right so for that we have to divide the number by 10 a is equal to a by 10 or a by is equal to 10 right so by this line we are removing 8 from this right i mean the last digit right so now the number becomes only 2 and in the next iteration it is checking if a not equal to 0 yes uh, the a is equal to 2 so this is not equal to 0 and it will store the last digit as 2 because 2 mod 10 is equal to 2 right then sum is equal to sum plus last so sum was what sum was 8 plus last the last is now uh, 2 so 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 right sorry uh, 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 right now and it will reduce uh, the remove the 2 as well so the number becomes now 0 and it will iterate it will uh, go here and it will check if a not equal to 0 and it will be false here right so a not this condition will be false then it will return whatever statement i will write here right so return sum right so this will return the sum of digits okay so it's now clear now what we have to do here we have to so 
तो a is equal to let's say 28 at first right and b is equal to 31 so a is 28 so if we pass the i inside digit sum this will add the uh, uh, this will uh, return the sum of digits so this will return 10 and when i will be 29 so this will return 11 and when the i is equal to 30 this will return 3 so each time this will return a, a value integer value which is the digit sum right so we have to store that and add with uh, add with that right as well so sum is equal to sum plus digit sum so for that we have to initialize the sum as well here sum is equal to 0 right so uh, return this and i hope uh, this will be fine so return oh sorry actually have to print right so print the sum i hope this will be fine okay so let's run it so the first input was 28 and second input was 31 right so 28 space 31 and output should be 28 as expected right and uh, the first input was what the first input was i think uh, 49 and 50 to 55 right okay and output should be 58 and sorry the input was 50 and 55 right okay let's run it uh, 50 and 55 okay so 50 and 55 output should be 45 right sorry i have given a slash uh, by mistake right so 50 and 55 output should be 45 and as expected so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes are used in java so if you couldn't understand or if you are confused uh, still then please let me know in the comment section i will try to solve your issues right and please comment recommend me whatever company's content you want right so thank you for today's session